You know, this is Paul Drunk Boxing, a.k.a. Mr. Moo. Shout himself. Ladies and gentlemen, October 10th, we got Sergey Lipinyev versus the Duke Kokorov for the IBF Interim Waterweight Championship of the World. It's a good fight, y'all. A lot of people ain't even talking about it, but it's a good fight. Abdul Kokorov undefeated, got great footwork, could box you around. Don't got a lot of power, but the dude could outbox you. Got a lot of intangibles. Also, y'all already know Sergey Lipinier, man, got a lot of power. Power. Sergey Lipinier, the same person that's that 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 people said, especially Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia and Lamar Peterson actually said that Sergey Lipinier got more power than Earl Spence. And talking about Earl Spence. This is why this matchup is actually an important matchup for you to watch. Because the winner of this fight is going to fight Earl Spence. What that says. When are we going to watch the fight that we all want to see? Bud Crawford versus Earl Spence. Yes. This is why you got to watch this fight. Because the winner of this fight is fighting Earl Spence next. Bud Crawford is not fighting Earl Spence next. I've been actually saying this for a long time. When Abdul Kokoro was actually the mandatory for Earl Spence ever since it was like, what, March 2019 or something like that? A lot of people talk about, you know, Dillian White being in one spot for a long time. Abdul Kokoro been on that spot for a pretty long time. Um, So... This is gonna be a good fight. We don't. I don't. Uh, this is a 50-50 fight. As a matter of fact, I do have Co uh, Blue Kokorov actually beating Sergey Lipinya, but I'm, but Sergey Lipinya could knock him out. He got the power to knock him out. Um, and that's two credible. Uh, that's two credible people that have gotten in the ring with with, with Earl Spence that have said that Sergey Lipinya got more power than than um um Earl Spence. Um, again, Lamont Peterson, Mike Garcia said that. Um, Sergey Lipinier got more power. Now, I don't know. Maybe they better because they lost to Earl Spence. I don't know. I don't know. So, hey. <laughs> but this is a good fight. And I be I was beginning to tell the people months ago that forget about the Book Crawford and the Earl Spence fight. It's not going to happen. It's well overdue. It's over-marinated. When you over-marinate stuff, it just doesn't taste that good. You can't unmarinate something. Once you marinate something, it, it, it just doesn't taste good, y'all. It just doesn't taste good. If Think about this. Earl Spence is going to be fighting Daddy Phil Garcia in November. He's go, he will have to fight Abdul Kokorov or Sergey Lipinyet within 90 days. Within 90 days. Almost the same way that when... um. When the IBA gave Earl Spence the voluntary bout so he could face um, Lamont Peterson, he wouldn't have to face his mandatory, which, which was Carlos Ocampo. It's almost the same thing. Yeah, he's going to be fighting Dennis with Garcia. WBC and the IBF made a deal that who's going to get the first dip. Now, the WBC, um, um, the WBC first the, won the first dip. The IBF is letting the WBC um, get the mandatory out for Earl Spence, but... In this sense, the WBC gave, gave Earl Spence a voluntary. You know, he was going to be Danny Swift Garcia anyway, but I'm not saying, I don't think that Danny Swift Garcia is the immediate mandatory right now, but whatever. You know, they're always going to change something. The WBC, y'all already know, they make decisions off drinking Don Julio. Now, so let's say Earl Spence fights the winner of Sergey Lipinyet on um, what? January or February. Then maybe. Maybe, and that, that's when we're looking way ahead. We don't know what's going to happen with Bud Crawford fights his next opponent. Then we're looking at the Bud Crawford, maybe Earl Spence, late 2021. And that's just a maybe. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to happen, you know? So, look, we're not going to get this fight. It's well overdue. We're probably going to see this fight when Bud Crawford's 34. I'm not saying that 34 years old is, is old, but for me, that's already a, the back end of your prime. It's actually probably past your prime when it comes to the sport of boxing. But, hey, look at Manny Pacquiao. He's 40 years old. This, hey, look at Pavelkin, 40 years old. So they, the older guys, hey, Sergey Lipinier, when he beat Yardy. I mean, there's older cats that's doing their thing. It's not the same. And I was on that. It's not the same nowadays, like the 30s, like the 40s, the new 30s. So these guys are doing great. Um, there's a lot of program. There's a lot of science that P, that these boxers, these athletes are educated. They staying younger than, than you know, what's usual. They're not beating their body up. Um, so I'm not going to say I'm not going to say that 34 is old, but, you know, currently it's still like a past year. The back end of your prime. Let's put it that way. The back end of your prime. I'm not gonna say that he's not in their prime. Uh, not in his prime. He haven't taken a lot of punishment in his career. So, 
All I'm saying is, man, I'm not keeping my hopes up with the book Crawford versus Earl Spence. Um, I don't think it's going to happen, in my opinion. I just don't think it's going to happen. And to be honest, the more, the longer it goes, I don't care for it to happen. I'm liking these young, the, 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 the young boxers nowadays, man. I'm talking about the Tiafima Lopez, the Ryan Garcia, the Devin Haney, the Boos, the Virgil Ortiz. Um, you know, I, I want to see these guys get in the mix, the, the David Benavidez, um, I'm looking. I'm looking for the, for big fights for them, man. They still young and they could and they could change the trend of the best fighting the best. Um. So and we and we already we already seen it. Lomachenko, Tiafimo Lopez. We already seen it. Want to see Devin Haney get back, get get in the mix as well? Um. We're gonna be fighting Gamboa. I mean, I don't think it's a, it's, it's it's not a great a great great fight that I'm looking forward to, but it, I think it's a good fight for a 21 year old that's coming out of surgery and a good fight and 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 a, and, a, and another chance for Gamboa. I don't think that Gamboa actually deserve a chance to get a crack at the title right now after losing to Javante Tang Davis. I don't think it's fair, in my opinion. But hey, it is what it is, man. This is boxing, I know. Uh, um, so let me know what y'all think about. Who's going to be winning Circle Lipinyet versus Abdul Kokorov? Again, these guys are very well-schooled, uh, very technically sound, uh, constant professionals. This is a good fight. This is one of the best fights also on paper, on paper in October. There's a lot of fights that happen in October, so don't so so circle this fight in October 10th. Sergey Lipinyev versus Abdul Kokorov. Let me know what y'all think. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Get my updated videos. I love y'all. God bless everything. Second, the merch is here. Y'all already know, man. Like it, share it. Helps the visibility of the video. I love y'all. God bless and all to the next.